part of the four portraits. Uh, today we're going to employ, this is what I call the ugly brush. It's actually used to clean circuit boards, but it has a hollow center, a, a shaggy uh, top to it, and it's wonderful for doing long strands of hair or fur uh, because it gives you an irregular uh, stroke. So we're going to use the ugly brush today. I've gone in and done some of the dark shadows just with uh, time constraints and now we're going to start bringing from, from the blacks to the lights in her hair. She has all different colors uh, in her hair from tans to grays to reds, uh, uh, the brunette part of it, just touches of a deep red in, in, in there, and uh, there's a few blondes in there. So uh, we're, we'll have a full palette of paint from browns all the way right around to tans. Let's see what we can do. Believe it or not, I'm using a little bit of black with uh, what's called Tuscan Red uh, to start out with. That, uh, that mixture gives me um, that red tint, red tinted brunette. And it, as you can see, this brush, when you use the tip end of it, makes perfect hair. What we're doing is putting in a, a base coat so that we can go in there and add highlights to the hair. But you want your base coat to be somewhat similar to the actual hair color. does have a lot of hair. has a, a typical swoop in her hair, <laughs> that swooping motion.
put a few highlights in there from the next color up just to get a, a flow to the hair the highlights help give you that down a bit on this one Let's see right in here Again, another swoop. A bit of lightning right there in the front. Bring back those shat, those highlights in the the curve of her head. If you do make a misstroke, you can always work it out with this. paint One thing you want, you don't want to do is you don't want to be become a pattern of your stroke. If you have every half inch a stroke, it, it, it looks odd. It is odd. <laughs>
do have one spot up here. Looks like I've got a clump of uh, the red clay that we're going to patch up. We're going to cover it with black and then let that dry and come back and hit it again with hair color. So we're going to do a lighter highlight now. This is real dry brush, very dry brush, very little in the brush. Just ever so slightly. You don't want her to look gray headed, but she's got highlights in her hair too. just kind of follow the flow of the hair. I'm rolling the brush as I go. It is twisting, a twisting action to get that curvature. too much. All you're doing here is just maintaining the shape of her head. Cover that spot up. Now you've got basic shape, some highlights in there. What I like to do next is just go in there and do some very fine work on a script brush. Uh, just a few brown highlights, like a tan, something that's going to show up, medium tan. And you want to get a consistency of just about ink. So go in there. Put a few individual hairs in there. 
You don't have to put them all just just enough to indicate that this is hair, not fuzz. I turned the canvas around to get that right direction of the, the hair. I'm right handed and it helps if you just uh, keep it a right handed stroke. I guess that would be my my personal preference, but uh, a lot of people are not ambidextrous. I'm, I'm one of those. In just a few hairs to indicate that it's hair. I would not suggest going in there and trying to paint every strand. You usually overdo it and it's not worth it in the first place. Now here she gets thin. Couple of highlights here. What I'm doing here is I'm just doing highlights, but I'm doing a left-handed stroke, but I, as you notice, I'm killing the, the point of contact. I'm blurring that point of contact to where it doesn't look so obvious. She has a black dress on, so
so you probably need to take some of this brown put a few highlights of hair in there uh, so that it shows up at a good distance from the for the viewer again very lightly stroked highlights my swoop that part is all wrist action Looks good there. We'll go over here, do a few of the same work. This has to be like I say, almost ink consistency to do this. In the back of her head, you're not gonna do much detail back here because your perspective negates that detail. It's just a, a, a brush stroke, not a fine hair detail. Uh, that would kill the perspective of the, of the thing, the shape of the thing. Almost done with the hair. What we're going to do here is to get to it, not make it a backbreaker. We're going to just tilt the tilt the painting. A lot of people don't get the concept that the 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 easel can be moved and rotated and flipped around. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a solid object uh, that you're dealing with. And they'll struggle and contort themselves rather than to move the easel. done with the hair. So 
All right.